are here at the hottest ticket in town today, the GAA Classic Cars at the Palace. And boy, do we have a candy land of cars to bring to you, so stay tuned. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to GAA Classic Cars Auction. Before we get started with the auction activity, let's meet a couple of key people. Let's meet Mr. Dean Green, owner of GAA. Mr. Green, how long have you been in the automotive business? I've actually been in the car business for 50 years, been in the auction business for 27. GAA has a weekly dealer-only auto auction. So what made you decide to go to a public classic car auction? Well, my dealers for years have been asking us about doing a classic car auction. We have the facilities, so it's just a natural for us to do that. It's just an expansion of what we've already got. Mr. Green, the Palace is a beautiful facility. Tell me a little bit about it. It's, it's all heated and air conditioned. It has all the exhaust systems and everything. It's well lit. It's probably, of all the facilities I've looked at, one of the best in the country. How often are you planning to have a classic car auction? We're going to do three a year. We're doing one in uh, March, July, and November. Here's Mr. Jerry Barker, General Manager of GAA. So what makes this classic car auction stand out? Well, we do things a little bit different here at this classic car auction. None of the cars in the building are run. We have an outside shoot where all the cars come down. So if you want to hear it run, you go outside to hear it run. And then we have videotape every car running. So when it actually comes up to the block, you can hear what the car runs like. I think we're the first sale in the country to ever do that. Tell us about how this classic car auction works. Uh, there's a lot of consigners. We've got 350 cars in two days. Uh, most of the cars have a reserve. Uh, the ones uh, that don't will sell absolute, and the buyer and the seller get together and uh, we handle the transaction. There's a lot of happy people that get us there. All right, Greensboro, we are here today to sell some cars and to have some fun. So I'm going to ask you one time, I want you to say it loud, make some noise, and be proud. Greensboro, are you guys ready to get this show on the road? Yeah! All right, are we ready down here, ring men? Yeah! Well, everybody loves yellow and everybody loves the Chevrolet. And right now we have a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. The, the paint job is 20 years old. That paint job that you see Take is over. It. Take a look at it now. Yeah, let me how many money? How many money? Get 50. Money. Anybody get 50,000? How much money bid? How much you want to bid? Raise your hand and get in. Who get 20? I got 20,000. I got 20 there. Now five. 20,000. Another minute. Five. Who did anybody? One of them at 25,000 dollars. Who did anybody at 30? Who did 30? Who did 30? Yeah, 27. Five. One of them at 30. And I'm at 37.5. How many be 35,000? Another minute. Get 37.5. There's another car that should be bringing 100,000. Who 37.5? You want it? At 37.5. Who did anybody? one of the fun things that happens when you come to the Greensboro Classic Sale, I have found out, is that you get the chance to see some very rare pieces. And this is one rare Corvette. It is a 1970 Corvette. It's the LT1 model, one of only 500 ever built. What's unique about this car, other than it's one of only 500? Well, it has the one year only color that Chevrolet used in 1970. It's called Laguna Gray. It is a beautiful color, never to be put on the Corvette again after 1970. This is one of the first of the only 500 cars that Chevrolet ever made with this color. Okay, let's go to the 1970 LT1 Chevrolet Corvette convertible coming up right here. 500 built in 1970. I'm 
54 is a buyer. Thank you, gentlemen, for hanging the next one. This is a 1969 first generation true Z28. Now that you've got to meet the car, this is our chance to meet the owner. From Taswell, Virginia, it's Robbie Brewster. Robbie, welcome to GAA Classics. What a story behind this car. You owned it when you were 16, you lost it, and you found it again. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, actually, my daddy owned this car when I was 16. I used to get to drive it quite a bit and uh, give it to me. We ended up selling this car and uh, it went up north for a few years and made its way back to Mount Airy, North Carolina. Uh, we found it over there about a year and a half ago and bought it back. Kind of deciding to sell it, I don't know. It, it's gonna have to bring the right amount of money. You know, this car's kind of like an old girlfriend to this guy. He finds it, he loses it, he gets it back, and now you're thinking about getting rid of it again. What are you hoping it'll bring on the block? I'm hoping this car gets somewhere in the 50s. Well, it's a beautiful car, and we wish you the best of luck, and thanks for coming to Greensboro. Great to be here. And what an amazing car we have right now, the 1969 Grand Sport California. This is a rare California special. Power steering, power brakes, ram air system. The numbers are matching. It's a solid South Carolina car. You can drive it in. Okay, here comes the 1969 Buick GS. It's a very rare California edition, one of only 500 ever produced. Let's see how it does. to do in Greensboro is what you're about to do. As you can see, Marlene's pretty excited and she's sticking a sold sticker on the car. This is Craig Southern. He's got a very special piece to tell us about. And since we are at the palace, this car may be a little royal. Craig, tell us a little bit about it. It's a 1947 Daimler two and a half liter picnic saloon built in England by Daimler 
who invented the first car and later went on to form Daimler Benz with Benz. These cars are used exclusively for the royal family still. They toured South Africa in this particular type car in 1947. The car has some extremely rare features. That's incredible. Now, I really want to know just how rare is this 1947? Extremely rare here. We call a picnic saloon because the tailgate lets down and actually has straps to strap your picnic basket on. So it's an extremely rare car. Well, good luck to you, Craig Southern, and a beautiful 1947 Daimler. Ah, you talk about a rare car and a rare, rare, rare barn find. Look at this one. Hey, how about that? You show them the turn signals right there. Flip out, turn signals. How about that? Somebody get 50. How about 50,000? How about 40? How about 40, 40, 40? I got 10,000 dollars. Who 13? How about 14? You want 14? 14? How about 14? He's turned out. How about 13? How about 15? How about 15? How about 15? Pardon. Johnny, you're not in now. 14 is over here. 15,000 dollars. We got all kinds of documentation with it. 15, now 15,000 dollars. And listen, listen, he said that the owner's right here. He said he's got over $4,000. He's got over $4,000 worth of extra parts, of extra parts. He found the car in the barn and found the extra parts if you want them. And where was that? You got 15, pal. Did you get 15? I got 14. Now, did you get 15 there, Phil? Yeah. Thank you. Now 16. It rolled it away. If you're not going to be. And a rare car, rare car. 16, pal. 15, five. 15, five, a bit. I got 15, five from Phil G. With five. I'm 16. Five. Who's 16 pounds on holding me up? 16 five. 16 five. Now 17 now. Who did it? 17. 17. Did you want to be ready? What 17 pounds on Reserve is off. The reserve is off. It'll be sold. What 17 pounds on the bill? 16 now. Who did it? Now 17 now. 17 dollar down. 17. What 17 pounds on the bill? Did you want to be now? How did it? 16 five. What 17 dollar bill? Did you want to be one of the bill? 17 now. 17. I got 17 now. 17. Who's 17 dollar down? 17. 17. Who did it? 500 dollar bill. It's a money maker. A money maker and a dream maker. 500 dollar down. 17. 18, 17, 17, 18 grand. Now five. On 18, now five and five. And another 18 there. Did you want to win five? 18, five. 18, two, 50. Now five. 18, five. Another thing, another thing, another thing, another thing, five and seven and a half. What seven and a half? Another thing, 18, five and seven and a half. Did you want to buy? 18, five, another bit, seven and a half. What else? Seven and a half. Another thing, did you want to buy? 19, 19, thousand. Another thing, did you get 19 for it? With 19, thousand. Another thing, did you get down 19? Another thing, another thing, did you want to make it 19? Now five. Hey, and it just give 20,000. Beat him to it. Hot 20. I got 19 there. Did you want to make it 29, 29, 29, 20, dollar, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. If it is 19, what you want to do? And twenty thousand dollar, it'll be sold. You want to get in? Uh, twenty thousand dollar, better than you want to make it down 19. You all done? Sold the car for nineteen thousand dollars on the phone. Phil G's wire. Next car, bring them on. We are here with White Lake, North Carolina's Eddie Sutton and his beautiful 1955 210. Eddie, tell us a little bit about this hot rod. Uh, I had this 55 two-door post a few years. Uh, we bought this uh, as a partial uh, build and uh, we tweaked it out and uh, we did a, put a few finishing touches to it. Now you say you tweaked it out. In card jargon, I've looked at this thing. It is way more than tweaked out. A lot of great features, but let's start with the engine. Tell me a little bit about the power plant. Uh, this is a ramjet uh, General Motors uh, crate motor and transmission, uh, probably 1,200 miles on the engine and the transmission. And how about that beautiful interior? I love the bow tie accent, by the way. Actually, this is a Hobgood interior out of Spring Hope, North Carolina, which is, uh, I think, top of the line. And this car has only been to uh, one car show, and it, uh, it was lucky enough to get best of show. It's another perfect example of what you're going to find right here at Greensboro. Get revved up for GAA Classic Cars Auction at the Palace. Open to the public on March 7th through the 9th. Kick off the event Thursday at 6 p.m. with great memorabilia. Friday and Saturday, 350 antique and classics go up for sale. Admission is just $15 each day. Come watch or register to bid. Your dream car just might be there. For more information, log on to GAAClassicCars.com.
three days in March, the 7th, 8th, and 9th, GAA Classic Cars Auction. Public and dealers welcome. 350 vehicles, GAAClassicCars.com. Join us Thursday, March 7th for the welcoming party, memorabilia sale, and over 20 no-reserve vehicles go on the block. Friday and Saturday, March 8th and 9th, there will be $5,000 given away each day to a lucky buyer or seller. Check us out on the web. It's GAAClassicCars.com.